morning guys how's it going welcome back to the channel so we've got a fun little project to do right now um this was a project i want to get done with my puppet before he passed away so unfortunately we just never got around to it um uh, so i have his rack from his 2018 buck um i wasn't part of this hunt but this was his second last buck and it's actually a really nice rack um so i had made a i had got a plaque made well, I made this plaque actually. So I made this um, basically two years ago now, and we were going to uh, mount it together. He's gonna show me how um, he does that. Now he's always left the tuft of hair on, you know, cut, cut a little chunk of the skull out. So you got the skull right here, got a tuft of hair. Um, we scraped all the, all the flesh and stuff of like that off the hide. We even brain tanned it, salted it, so it's good um basically the only thing that was left was to mount it which we just never got around to doing unfortunately so there's many different ways to doing this um i've watched a couple videos but i always want to do it um the way my grandfather does it because it is a very secure mount and all he does all he uses are let's see here these um it's like a double it's like a double-sided stud so it has this screw part that goes into wood, which will be going into bone. And then this is just a quarter inch uh, nut that goes onto this. And basically, so I'll show you down here, I'll show you all the stuff that we need. Okay. So, let's turn this around. All right. So basically this will probably sit something like that, right? So you're gonna need some drill bits. <laughs> you're gonna need the hardware, which, here, I'm gonna move this for now. So the hardware consists of two of those studs, two, two wash, oh, that's not the right washer. Two washers, two nuts, obviously, drill and a pencil to mark everything um, I've never done this before so bear with me this is gonna be a little bit of a learning process um, so first things first I think I'm gonna do with this is yes. just get it so I mean, you might have to trim the skull yourself just to uh, have it sit the way you want it. So I think I want it to sit something like that. All right. So now all I'm going to do is I have it there like this. Here, I'll tip you down a little bit more, see if you can see exactly what I'm doing here. But so without trying to move too, too much, all right, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to mark where my bone ends, right here, and the width of my bone. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drill the wood first, and then we'll, we'll drill through the bone. even at a quarter inch it's a little snug so it might go just a size bigger so we're gonna go with 17 64 Well, guys, after a little bit of craziness that just happened there, um, I was as I was filming this, um, the sink just started overflowing like crazy. Uh, I guess my drain backed up. So, anyways, um, there is a step missing from this 
uh, for me showing you guys this anyways. So I do have, I do have those studs now into uh, my head. Basically, I fed them through um, just so you can t I can tighten them up. Now, one thing I will I would do differently next time, and that's what I learned is I'll actually I'll install the studs right onto my uh, my antlers, like the head, and then I'll actually use those two studs as my marking point, and then I'll drill those holes. I think that'll go a lot easier next time. Now, one thing I did do I don't know if I'm gonna have to add something, but so see how this is up like this. All I did is I took the the cap, and all I did was. I tucked everything underneath there. Same with the back end. So I might have to add something just to keep it there. Um, but yeah, I think that turned out pretty darn good. So now I'm just going to uh, tighten up the back side with that. And uh, so yeah, not bad for a DIY mount, if I do say so myself. Like I said, I, this was just some cedar that I ended up getting two cedar planks and I actually ended up joining them and you can kind of see the seam here it says uh, I was just trying a little bit of joint tree which I haven't done a whole lot of uh, so that seemed pr to work pretty darn good um, and this was a uh, practice for my grandpa's last buck so I'm gonna do something really really nice and I'm actually gonna do a really detailed video of that mount um, just because that one's gonna be pretty special all right well thanks for watching hope you guys learned a little something I know it's not a very long detailed video but I just want to show you how my grandfather showed me to um, add the racks onto a plate. My next, like when I do get my first buck, I'm actually gonna Euro mount it because I think that's such a neat look. Um, but all of my grandpa's bucks are, are like that. Um, I know there's, um, you can get right down to the skull and then you can get these like little skull caps. I don't know, I don't really care much for that look. I'd rather have that nice uh, deer fur right there. All right. Anyways, if this is your first time checking out my channel, check out the rest of my content. If you like my stuff, feel free to subscribe. Uh, bare minimum, just give me a little like at the bottom. Same with all you returning new viewers. If you like this content, give me a big thumbs up so I know that you like this stuff. Other, other than that, uh, thanks for coming, and we will catch you guys in the next one.